ever gone three days without a shower? You never gone three days without a shower. Really? Like that for me is like What's relaxing the at home. With you, man? That's, 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 that's like the dream. That's like wait a minute, the wife's gone away. I haven't got to go. I don't have to shower for three sweet smelling yeah. days. So that's just you existing in society. <laughs> just like the, but also the festival. It's just 2018, Ian. Yeah, 2018. It's like, yeah. as soon as this film is finished, I am not showering. Yeah, yeah. You're just disappointed it was only three days, right? Yeah, that's the record's low. four. The record is yeah. four. Never have I ever woken up in the same clothes as the night before and kept wearing them the next day. This is... I mean, you are so I don't know, I've wasted my life. What have you been doing? I'm like a borderline alcoholic, so that makes no sense. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Not much I can do about that one, sorry. I call it a sleep and roll, you just get up and... If you're used to not showering for three days, the smell, you're like, well, that's pretty good for one day. Absolutely fresh. Never have ever got a piercing or tattoo that you regret. Okay, but I was going to get one for this film because the character gets one. I only couldn't because we weren't able to get a big enough ring. Like, I was up for it. I would... I'm pretty passionately committed to my parts so that I would I would do yeah. it. The only disappointment for this film was that Joe was going to get his nipple pierced and didn't because of various things and I was, he was up for it, totally up for it and I was so excited. I was just, I was honestly almost like, it was like Christmas was coming and then when Christmas had been cancelled. Yeah. We had all the preamble meetings though. Like yeah, you, the, met the, you, know, you met the person who puts a bit of metal through your tit. Yeah, you? yeah. If this film does very well and it, there's a sequel that's going to happen, will you get it for the sequel? Yeah, okay, yeah. If this film does so well we get a sequel, I will get a piercing. This is on camera. Yeah, so. yeah that's fine. No, I will do that. Yeah. I'll get one. Never have I ever peed in a bush or cup or on yourself because the toilet queue was too long. Just, um, this is like, what? <laughs> Luckily my mum doesn't watch too I much MTV think... as far as Oh, come on. I think never. I just what never if, what, you stood in a queue rather than pee in a bush? I'll pee in the, I'll pee in the bush. Yeah, of course, I'll pee in the bush. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to say, you're very clean. Cut. <laughs> I know. He's, he's I think, you know, to be honest, I'd rather. It's only because I don't even really think peeing in a bush is like. I think that's almost at a higher level because it's less horrible than peeing in the. What I think if everybody the... did it, it would kill all the plants, though, Jay. It might do, yeah. Acid, yeah. Never have I ever woken up after a boozy night with no memory. I had that terrible thing, like, my memory's quite good, and so I get this horrible fear the next morning. I'm like, oh, no. And then over the day, they go, oh, no. The film's a bit like that, actually. Yeah. You know. I've out. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking once or twice a year is good once for you, Once or right? twice, yeah, yeah. Just kind so of, one um... glass of red wine, two blackouts a year. Yeah, yeah, it's something like that, yeah. Like that. That's right, yeah. It's all research for the film. It's research for the film, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. method acting. Yeah. Never have I ever fallen face first into mud. I mean, this is for the film. But I mean, I, I should say that, like, that was a mixture of mud and just literally cow shit because we were filming out of basically a farm. So I think that yeah. does count. And also what I would say is that when they had a special bit of mud for my face, I basically had to, had to like, eat some of it. The art department said, we've made, like, a chocolate thing for you to yeah. put your head into. Um, and then at the last minute they came over and they went, oh yeah, you know that chocolate thing? Yeah, it's not chocolate, it's, um, what is it? Oh yeah, it's sausage thickener. And, and, but then also, um, well, then also the lady was there, like, I was like, it doesn't quite look right, can you put some mud in it? They didn't have some mud in it. So it's basically, in the end it was basically just mud. Yeah, it's like what leaks out the back of a sort of sausage factory onto the road. That was basically what I was eating. With a bit of mud mixed in. Yeah. Got a tetanus shot, didn't I, during the film? You had to get a tetanus shot had because you ate the mud. Worried about getting tetanus. I thought that had kind of gone out, hadn't it, tetanus? But Which we were trying to bring it back, but you've ruined it. Yeah, it's back now. I'm like reinfecting. The... Wait, did you? Were you gagging the whole time that you were? It was freezing cold and just revolting in every way. I wasn't even. I'd just gone mad. I was just roaming up and down, bare chested, being like, "Right, nightmare. Shouldn't have to do it." Probably annoyed with the director, I imagine. Well, the trick in those situations is just a smile. Never have I ever spent a festival surviving purely on snacks and warm booze. Yeah. yeah. I think that's how you... That sounds quite good to me. Yeah. I, I mean, mean... I don't... I don't Contrary I don't like hamburgers. When I go to a festival, that's pretty much all I'll eat. You can totally get through on, like, Haribo and, like, <laughs> wine for three days. Never have I ever used someone else's toothbrush. Yeah. I mean, I think that's standard. I... I, Did... I when I... My family I grew up in, that wasn't even, like... They only had no, one we, toothbrush, seven of them, one toothbrush. We all had, I mean, I've, we had, yeah, there was, it was, was my, I've got, there's four boys in my family. So we just, we, I, we used to just, the pants were communal pants as well. And like, and our, our girlfriends would be like, can you just not just all share each other's pants all the night? It's just weird. Like, it's like you belong to a cult or something. The first time I met you, you were wearing your mum's jumper, I think. Yeah, actually, you wore my mum's clothes for a while. I am, 
Yeah. Also, four brothers wearing his mum's clothes. I said, you're the oldest. So I'm the oldest, yeah. So I, that's, you know, that's how the chain works. But yeah, toothbrush. Mum, I, you. I thought that people getting saying they needed their own toothbrush was like... Bourgeois. Like, what, do you think you're the queen or something? <laughs> like, There's a line. I think some people were okay and some people were like, absolutely not. I think it's fine. It's absolutely, <laughs> and not, I will... it's absolutely not fine, but I will do it. Never have ever worn stretchy lycra and thought it was cool? I've never thought it was cool. I mean, I, 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 I've worn it, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's cool. <laughs> okay. I think there's maybe a moment where you think, maybe it is really cool. Maybe I'm the one guy who can wear it, but um, that turns out to be just another illusion of youth. <laughs> Never have you ever tripped over some tent ropes that it's not your tent. That's, I mean, that's I mean, classic. That just... Yeah, that's just like, yeah. yeah, it's like the festival equivalent of stubbing your toe as well, isn't it? It's like, God damn, no. Yeah. yeah, all the time. Yeah. And even when we were shooting, because we were shooting amongst all these tents that we set up and everything, just constantly doing that. Yeah, it's so hard not to do it. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's, yeah. The tent's so close as well. I mean, like, yeah, it's a nightmare. So can you tell me what's your funniest or most memorable moment from shooting? God, it was all very memorable actually. I think probably the whole kind of, there's a big chase sequence where I was like running around in my pants and like that was so long. I, I, day after day, I'd go in and like on my costume reel there was nothing apart from these pair of pants. Um, and I'd be like, oh God, another doomed day of just me waddling around in the mud in front of these just, just genuine members of the public. Um, so, but that, that, because of the effort that went into that sequence, that was, that was very memorable. Just literally you and your pants. There was quite a yeah. bit where we had it, he has a mobile, he has a phone and he's trying to kind of get this girl's number and he like, he's storing the phone in his pants. We didn't have a phone, so I was just using the producer's phone, which was um, quite funny because first of all, it was just literally just next to my penis. But also <laughs> the fact that he kept on receiving these kind of what were obviously like quite important calls from like, <laughs> sort of like people are funding the film. So I was like, yeah, I've missed that one, I'm afraid. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why of all the phones, I, why we chose to use that one for that prop. I've, I've no idea. Mm. I've got to ask, I've yeah. just seen the trailer. There's a scene in it where you're crying in bed and it looks like you're doing something else. Oh, the, yeah, 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 the cry wanking, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's cry wanking, because yeah. yeah. I was like, how do I approach yeah. this? It's the definitive yeah. crank. Was my, my, crank, yeah. My dream was always to get the definitive crank Wanking doesn't have to be about happiness, I've... it can be about all emotions. <laughs> how awkward was it? How many times did you shoot it? Like, I, mean, I made just... you rehearse it many, many times. Yeah, just those rehearsals were weird. It was so, they went on for so <laughs> just, long. And, like, just me and Joe in my house, yeah, no cameras. Yeah, and like, why were you just filming it on your phone? It was weird. The dog took longer, there's a bit where the dog licks his face. Yeah. Yeah, the whole it. sequence where he's in bed and he's like, I don't want to get out of bed. Like, the, the, the actually, by far the worst bit was the, the, I had to have a dog lit my face. And like, the dog was a lovely dog. I think there's a thing where when people are into like animal husbandry, they don't like wash the animals as much. Because I think they're like, the animals probably don't like being washed that much. So all the dogs I've worked with um, uh, for like a stunt, they're always quite smelly. Like more smelly than like pet dogs. So maybe pet dogs are being overwashed or something. But like, this dog was a lovely creature. But it was just didn't want to lick my face, and so it was. It just took so long, so that it was just loads of it, which is the dog on top of me, but not licking my face. And all I wanted was to, for the dog to lick my face, so I could get the scene done. Um, and this um, dog was just so diffident about licking my face. It was like it was like it was. We ended up pouring like, like pate in your face. We had to smear my face pate. As that pate was going on, I was like, well, that's it for me and pate. <laughs> so you've that's had loads a... of protein-based products. Yeah, and that's, that's such protein, a tragedy yeah. because pate is such a nice food as well. And like, I, that Sausage, now- Sausage, pate, the lot. Yeah.